Okay, welcome to a, another TRL Rips Cards. Thank you for watching. Uh, right now, I've got a hobby box of 2002 Series 1. It was uh, at a place that I happened to catch this, and it was on sale, 25 bucks. I thought, you know, you can't miss that. <laughs> Uh, one of the things too, my uh, my collecting kind of ended probably like late '90s, and so um, I don't really have any cards of this era at all. So uh, let's see here. Top sports trading cards. Blah blah blah. I don't know. Nothing, I guess. So um, so yeah, I thought well, this would be a way to get some uh, add some Twins PC. This is also a uh, Let's hope we get a rookie of Joe Maurer. So that was kind of one of the main reasons I got it. This is his uh, Maurer rookie cards, uh, hopefully in here. So that would be nice. Um, I actually don't know if I have any or not. There are even um, a possibility here. Look for randomly inserted original Topps Hall of Famers. Uh, and I think even on the... Uh, box it does talk about uh, randomly inserted autographs so um, summer school relic cards autograph cards ring ring masters and other exciting insert cards so you know you never know um, could absolutely grab something so if anything else will be kind of fun to uh, see some of these names uh oh this is gonna be a problem they're gonna stick together <laughs> oh man <laughs> this might be bad Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was kind of afraid of that. I thought maybe they weren't quite old enough. But uh, anyway, so we got Paul LaDuca. I do remember him. Um, of course, they're going to be like every which way. Plus, they're going to be stuck together. So, oh boy. This might be a problem. <laughs> so, um, of course, it's an E-T-R-O behind there, too. So... Alright, so actually the card I want to peel then is the, so we got an Ichiro <laughs> All-Star Rookie. I mean, that's, I don't know what, if that's a decent card or not. It's an early Ichiro, so, um, centering is terrible though, <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I'm probably not even going to do anything special with that. That's like way off. So, uh, Mike Matheny. Let's see here, Carl Everett. I remember Carl Everett. He had a couple of really good years. So here is some kind of insert. I'm thinking. Oh man, I wonder if they're all going to be like this. This is going to be tough. Um, we got a Ricky Henderson breaks the career walks record. Season highlights. Ricky Henderson Padres. Man, I forgot he was just. Yeah, we played so many teams, it's just hard to even remember, keep track of him. So I guess that's an insert, so we'll kind of, we'll at least kind of set him, set that aside. So Paul Baco, kind of remember him. Jose Cruz Jr., sure. Uh, Jose Cruz Jr. stuck to a, let's see here. Uh, Graham Lloyd, sure, lefty reliever. Jose Valentin, I think he was a twin for a little while too, not yet at this point, but uh, I think he was. Barry Larkin, Barry Larkin, stud, quite a lot, he just had to be right towards the tail end, he started in 86, so yeah, this is probably, I don't remember when he retired, but that had to be getting there. Uh, I think we already had that Carl Everett, and then some kind of win the hat of your choice, I don't think I'm probably going to win anything, so... All right, well, this could be a really long uh, rip, and I will see if they're all going to be, which I have a bad feeling they are going to be stuck together like that. This might not be the best. Uh, can't even get the dang packs open. Um, might not be the best video <laughs> because uh, it would be a lot. Oh, man. Yes. I don't know about this. Uh, this, this could be a more delicate operation. <laughs> so, oh, man. 
Yeah, this is not good. Even if I get my mower, it's going to be stuck all together. All right, Brian Jordan. Yeah, you are stuck next to a Joey Hamilton. Joey Hamilton in some in some heat right now. Oh no, different. Who am I thinking of? Different guy. All right. Um, Vladimir Nunez. I don't remember you. And you're stuck to a Brian Meadows. So you guys can stay stuck together. Here's an insert. Smith throws a Bud Smith. There was a no-hitter with the Cardinals. I don't think he had really much of a career after that. And I think that was I think he was a rookie, if I'm not mistaken. Um, pitching in front of more than a dozen family members, Bud Smith became the 16th rookie in modern history to throw a no-hitter. Yep. Um, yeah, he just got recalled, and he, it was like his first start. So, um, oh, 11th major league start for it just got recalled. So, um, yep, ninth no-hitter and. I do remember that. So I was watching baseball, then just wasn't collecting. Uh, Jake, get true. I never heard of you. It's one of the Rusa manager, Bobby Cox manager. Okay, they're not quite as stuck together, so that's good. Jerry Manuel man. Oh, a bunch of manager cards right in a row. Tony Perez manager. So okay. Well, man, I don't even know how to. Like, the best way to kind of go about that. Okay. Uh, Juan Pierre. Juan Pierre, I do remember him. Hey, there's Tory Hunter. Nice. Oh, and of course, that's like crap looking because it was all stuck together. Anyway, nice Tory Hunter there. Had to be early Tory Hunter. When did he? His rookie year probably officially was 99. Let's see a bats. One, one game in 97 and six games in 98. So, yeah, it was into a little bit. Joe Borchard. Oh, man, look at how bad these are. Bonds rattles bones. So this is a bear bones. Um, race to 51, 70. Race to 70, 51. That's kind of an insert of some kind of um, but, ah, man, all these are going to be like this, I think, aren't they? No, that's the risk you're on, I guess. Maybe you can wipe that off, I'm not sure. Some of that might. Another Henderson, 3,000th hit. How's with the Padres? Hmm. Um, CC Sabathia. That was his second year. Todd Hollinsworth. Man. Let's see. Matt Williams. Houndsworth stuck behind somebody. And that is Ray Ordonez. Ray Ordonez, I remember him. Alright. This is just not good at all. Because the few cards that are going to be any good are just stuck together. So. Ugh. I don't know how this is going to work. Something cool on the back here. What is this? It says, uh, Rain Check. Enter Rotunda Gates. Enter the Ticket to History Promotion. Hmm. Well, I think this is expired, but uh, some kind of contest that a person missed out on for not opening this box way back then so all right byung hyun kim he was one of the uh first um korean ball players guangju okay yeah, kind of through that sidearm that really uh sweeping uh slider i remember remember that kevin apier uh David Segui. Let's see here. We got a Shea Hildebrand. Shea Hildebrand. Here we got a gold 1952 World Series Allie Reynolds insert. That's kind of neat. Um, 
Ain't that a wipe off? That's kind of cool looking. It's gold like that. So, tops baseball must have yeah. It's got the old uh, look and everything to it. So, well, that's pretty cool. I think I'll go ahead and at least stick it in a penny sleeve. Kevin Tappany, Cubs, Jamie Wright, Jamie Wright, uh, uh, Mike Bordick, and Luke Pro Prokopek. Hmm. All right. Man. This is just... Uh, Gonna take forever. Uh, you hear that? It's just awful. Oh, there's a nice. Uh, we'll get the chipper, but uh, Bob Bob Abreu always was Bobby Abreu always, but uh, it just says Bob Abreu. Robert Fick. Tigers, can't remember him just for being in the division. Uh, let's see, Jimmy Anderson. Never heard of it. Uh, here's some kind of insert, and that is a thick card. Um, it's uh, Chipper Jones. Actually, that was a, it. Must the material was different enough that it wasn't stuck together or anything. So nice. It says Hobby Masters Chipper Jones. So um, that one's actually in good shape, and that's kind of a it's not numbered. But uh, after that, I'm curious, that's probably the best card of the night so far, I think. Um, we got season highlights, bonds, uh, all time single season home run record. Oh, man, that was that year. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, he's got to be you know, lightly stuck to Ryan Miner. Don't really remember him. Um, Ryan Miner. Travis Wade, good thing that's not a good prospects. That's not a panned out too well. I don't remember him. Stan Javier, and then a really dinged oh, TK. <laughs> nice. So Tom Kelly with a lot of that crap on it. Uh, then we got a Jason Barre, but I don't remember that guy. So okay, well some kind of nice insert there, and luckily it was a different material it wasn't even stuck together so that was nice I wonder if I'm yeah let me just try getting all these out and maybe it might go a little faster at least uh, three or four at a time Rico Bronia, sure, Rico Bronia. Oh man, here's some kind of cool looking insert, but not gonna be good. League leaders, we got Brett Boone, that was definitely a, a juicier. Juan Gonzalez, and Al actually, probably all of them. <laughs> oh, behind that was a Ron Coomer, but it's a Cubs Ron Coomer, dang it. So that league leaders would have been kind of cool, but uh, kind of got ripped up a little bit there. So, uh, let's see. We got a uh, Gabe Gross. Don't remember him. Prospects Eric Glazer. Funny, some of these, you know. It's like, well, it didn't didn't turn out because I would have recognized you. <laughs> Joe Carrion, manager there. Uh, Glazer, another manager, Mike Sosa. So let's see, Rico Bronia. I got to remember now to start 
put them, set them down somewhere else. Ah, it's just like, I don't know what that sound is like. It's not good. Uh, Rick Helling, <laughs> Paul Canerco. It's got to be some early Canerco, too. Mm, not really, 97. Hmm. He had a long career. Uh, Brian Bohannon. <laughs> just, I hate it. Uh, Omedo Sain, 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 something like that. Kind of do remember that name. Another league leaders, A Rod, Tommy, Rafael Palmero. But I mean, it is a cool card, but just too bad it's front, so it's in bad shape. Derek Bell, uh, John Franco. Chris Holt. Let's see here. Kevin Young, Mark Mulder. I can't remember him. Mark Burley. Um, Mark Burley. Oh, 2000 was his rookie. Mark Katze. And Katze's got somebody behind him. Jeff Bagwell, nice, and then what is this, just a spacer, oh, <laughs> Red Sox sticker, <laughs> how about that, I'll give that to my son, I like stickers, so, uh, league leader, okay, that one's actually in pretty good shape, Ichiro, AL runs, so, A-Rod, Ichiro, and Boone, and that one is, uh, at least the surface is good, so, Early Ichiro, uh, Chris Truby, Astros, I don't remember him. Um, cast so hard, Jose Carrera. Corey Koski, twins, nice. Kind of had that career cut short by a big concussion. Actually, nice, that one stayed pretty safe actually the very next one uh alex gonzalez not so much but uh koski's good dave martinez i think i started with rick helling up so i got through a few of them there there's another bud smith oh, i guess like a deck of cards or something you just feel like you're gonna what do i want to say um shuffle them you know bud smith uh ricky Gutierrez and half of the ink on the, from the Ricky Gutierrez must have came on the back of Bud Smith. Um, so uh, I'm just hoping if the, I get a Mauer, it's looking decent. I mean, every once, you know, they're not all terrible. Andy Ashby, Marlon Bird, Prospects, he at least had a career. Uh, another league leaders, this is for AL batting average, Ichiro Giambi and Roberto Alomar. But alas, Terrible shape. Oh my goodness. Um, Craig Paquette. At least it's the name we know. Don Baylor, Cubs manager. Ron Belliard, Brewers. Uh, this is just painful. I don't even think, I mean, I'm just probably just going to throw these away, even. I don't know what to do with these. Maybe I'll let my kid play with them. There's really nothing he can they can do to make them worse. Lloyd McClendon. All right, well. So we'll salvage what we can, and everything else will become a toy, I think, because that's just all there is to it. Well, so really just one other than a couple of twins PC so far kind of interesting to look at um, just this Chipper Jones Hobby Masters which I don't even know that must be just for because it was a hobby box that must be like a special insert I'm not sure um, Carlos Feebles I don't remember that guy at all Well, ugh, man, 
kind of neat seeing some of these old players that uh, hadn't heard about or hadn't thought about in a lot of, long, long time. Some of them kind of just retired recently, really. So Ichiro is kind of the exception of the rule, but Erod hasn't been that long, I guess. But at least he's still certainly in everyone's conscious, you know, with being a, an announcer, baseball tonight, and everything. So let's see. Hmm. That says, uh, great news for collectors, trade nights. So, um, must have been something they tried to, uh, set up, build sets, meet collectors, trade cards. Kind of a neat idea. I mean, I, I know local, local shops do that, but, uh, Jason Tyner. <laughs> Is that, uh, oh, Tampa Bay Jason Tyner. But that was kind of unusual to think Tops maybe was taking the lead on that, so. Uh, okay, well, let's just get through it. Edgar Renteria, uh, Jeff Nelson, here we got some kind of insert that's not dinged up. Richie Saxon, one of the taller position players ever, I think, 6'7". Here we go, we got, oh cool, a couple of nice, decent ones here. So we got a ring masters mark mcguire so these are these are different enough that they're not they're actually in good shape they look like there's they're thick and then they have like a different you know feel to it so um good and then right behind that is a kind of a foil i guess or something like that you would you would call it um america united oh sure 2002 yeah so uh september 18th 2001 comiskey park you got Clemens there wearing the uh, fire department hat along with um, well, who that is next to him I can't somebody so hmm yeah seven days after 9-11 so crazy um, that's kind of a neat insert so, oh yeah I gotta remember to start there I think so Chad Curtis all right, well, a couple of decent cards there. Jesus Sanchez, don't remember him. Sanchez, Dante Bichette. His kid is uh, the hot rookie this year, Bo Bichette. Dante Bichette. Um, if you really look at Dante Bichette's numbers, like go look at his war and stuff like that, he... Uh, very overrated, so a lot of, uh, a lot of terrible outfielder, one of the worst outfielders ever, and also kind of, uh, his numbers weren't even that great, because he was at Coors Field, and compared to everybody else on his team, Jason Isringhouse and Eric Gagné, okay, Red Zaria, starting there, so, I was a little surprised, I was kind of down a rabbit hole on baseball reference one day, and looked at that, and I went, oh man, he's, He's like he's got like a point eight war or something like that. He's, I mean, he's really not good. So, uh, Jason Marquis, Jeff Kent. Oh, man, <laughs> these are just so bad. Uh, Julian Leverett. Here's another one of those inserts, and that is a uh, another. Uh, see, but that one got dinged up. United we stand Cubs versus Reds, but that one's not so good. So, I guess I'll. Nonetheless, we'll sleeve it, but that's that one took the worst for the wear. Greg Vaughn's uh, wearing some of that card. Mark Quinn. Uh, kind of disappointed with the lack of twins so far. Jason Mall prospects. Jason, you didn't pan out. Bobby Higging, Higginson. Bobby Higginson. This, yeah, he ended up with the Twins for a little while. I think this is really in their down year. So, uh, Jose Vizcaino started with that guy. So, they got Jason Tyner. Yep, Jason Tyner. 6'1", 170. Had very little power all through the minors from 98 to 01 with the Rays. Zero. I think for a time he actually held the record most at bats 
from a position player without a home run um, with the Twins. Uh, Esteban Jan, <laughs> remember him? Juan Encarnacion, John Smoltz. Towards the tail end. Travis Wade, Astros. Um, that's something a little different. It says right there, 51 years of collecting. So, um, yeah, I don't know what this guy, what the deal was there. Huh. Oh, that's numbered to 2002. Is this a real person or what? That's kind of different. I just happened to catch that. Um, a thousand. I got I got 106 out of 2002. Um, have to look that up. I mean, I don't, it's obviously not in very good shape, but a little different. And then on the back, it's like got. I mean, yeah, I get Round Rock. Oh, one. So, I mean, uh, those are real minor league numbers. I'm sure that's a minor league, but it's just kind of strange. The way it, maybe it's just a random guy, random prospect that put that on there. So, uh, Marlon Anderson, Freddie Sanchez. Freddie Sanchez. Can I remember? Manager, Bob Brenly. Ugh. Just, <laughs> it just that rip just gets me every time. Dusty Baker. Uh, let's see, Roger Clemens. Whoops, Clemens. Yeah, there's that. Let's see here. Denny Nagel. What's going on? What have I? The Orioles sticker. Um, United We Stand. Each row. That one's in pretty good shape too. So. Mike Hampton, so the pitcher, but that's a picture of him hitting. He was one of the better hitting pitchers uh, we've had in a long time. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it just shows his um, pitching stats, but uh, I think he had, like, one of the more, got a, I think he's got a record, like, most home runs, kind of in the modern era for a pitcher. So Reggie Sanders, Melvin Mora. Remember him? Uh, let's see. Derek Jeter. Actually, that one's not too bad. 2002. Jeter. Uh, Denny Nagel. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mike Rivera. Paul Shuey, and John Olerud wearing that helmet with uh, playing the field. Rare condition of some kind, I don't even remember anymore, but there's a story with the Mets, I think it was, <laughs> Ricky Henderson it was like, played with him all season and found out he wore that helmet or something like that. And I can't remember if it was in the All-Star game or something. And he's like, oh, I never knew that. What's what's that about? He's like, they were teammates for like a, at least a season. So <laughs> kind of Ricky was uh, not really too focused on much other than himself, I think. Uh, David Cohn with the Red Sox. Huh, I don't kind of remember him with the Red Sox. So yeah, 2001, I guess. But uh, yeah, I, don't, I just don't remember it. Um, got a Larry Walker. So, going in the hall this year. And that one's in, yep, terrible shape. Uh, Royce Clayton, another United We Stand insert. And mm, pretty good. Let's say survive pretty good. The Astros Giants. Um, September, so all these are from September 18th. That must have been the night. Uh, Baseball came back. I kind of remember that, but in college it was a strange time to say the least. So uh, Keith Folk, 
Jerry Hairston. I remember Jerry Hairston. Junior, I think. Even. Uh, Scott Williamson, Mike Remlinger, Brad Radke, nice, another twin finally. Uh, Stanton, back to David Cohn. Oh, look at this. Is that real? Juan Marichal, auto, three of a hundred? I think that is real, actually. That was uh, one of the set of random Hall of Famers inserted. And, uh, Holy crap. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's pretty awesome. Better go ahead and get that in a top loader right away. Juan Marichal, 3 of 100. Um, actually survived quite well. Um, oh, yeah, there's a, a sticker on the back. That must mean, like, the official thing. So that's even centered pretty well, you know. So... Interesting. Wow. <clears throat> what year is that sucker? Um, must be 73 because it's got the 72 numbers on there. So, nicknamed the Dominican Dandy. <laughs> wow. Um, well, that is the uh, card of the night for sure. I'm gonna, I'll be curious to even see a comp on, uh, on eBay on that one. That is awesome. Juan Marichal, San Francisco Giants. What? Jeez. Awesome. Um, so I think I almost gave up on this stuff. So that is pretty sweet. Uh, Bonds highlight. Pretty good shape there, actually. Um, Jeff Shaw. Let's see. Napoleon Calzado. Scott Wiggins. Oh, man. These are just such rough shape. Uh. <laughs> Darren Lewis, God, Bobby Valentine. Ugh. At least somehow that came out unscathed. I mean, that's amazing. I, it's different material, I guess. Um, that's so awesome, though. Uh, we got Andrew Jones here, actually in pretty good shape too. Um, Troy Gloss. Uh, Jarrett Wright. Can't remember him. Carlos Feeblis. Maglia Ordonez. Maglia Ordonez. Yeah, boy, he had some good years, didn't he? Kind of very just consistently good. 30 home runs plus. Yeah, he was tough. Uh, let's see. Einer Diaz. Wes Helms. League leaders insert. That is not any good. Uh, Lucina Clemens. Hideo Nomo. Nice. Uh, let's see. Is that Craig Biggio? Another son who's uh, quite hyped. Kevin Biggio. Devon, Wh Devon White. Uh, let's see. Davey Lopez. Craig Council. Um, so Juan Marichal out of 100 definitely uh, worth it hey, there's a Pedro Martinez actually in good shape too be a Hall of Famer if he isn't already I don't remember Chris Rietzma Brett Boone that must have been uh Own the game. Ichiro. 242 hits. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Refractor of some kind. Um, hmm. So, that's cool that the, the actual good card inserts are actually kind of, um, the, you know, different enough. That's cool. Man, uh, that's actually a nice looking card. Um, kind of a, uh, of course now it looks crappy, put in an older top loader, but anyway. Uh, Brett Boone was this year, big steroid year, oh, the year before, yeah. 
37 bombs, 141 RBIs out of just out of nowhere. <laughs> so came from just not doing anything for a long time, just being very mediocre, you know. Um, 194, <laughs> 251, did hit 321 here. Uh, I mean, just 223, 233, 266. Boom, 331, 578 slugging, 141 RBI, 37 bombs, 37 doubles. <laughs> it's just like amazing how that happens. So, uh, league leaders, Joe Mays, league leaders in ALERA. Yeah, you kind of do forget. But Joe Mays must have been. I got to see the back of this. Of course, it's stuck together, but um, I guess he was probably, he had to be third, huh? I don't remember him being. Number one ever. Um, let's see here. Yep, Joe Mays third. 316, though, and it's not very far behind uh, Garcia. So we got 305, 315, 316. Huh. Joe Mays. I've got that as a Twins PC, too. So at least that's good. Uh, BJ Surhoff, Jorge Fabregas, Jeremy Burnitz. Jeremy Burnitz. Kind of do remember a couple of good years out of him. Yeah, he was. Consistently decent there for 30 plus homers four years in a row, 27 the year before. So, uh, Bobby Bonilla, boy, that was winding down Bobby Bonilla there. So, yeah, one started in 86. I wonder if that was his last, this maybe it was his last year. I don't remember. Okay, these little deals, little checklists. Sealy, it's talking for that Maurer. I'm pretty sure this is in this year. Uh, Kennedy, I think it was Series One, maybe not. Um, something different here. Insert. Uh, let's see, Deanna Cesar, somebody working on. Got an insert. Uh, Carl Erskine wins Game Five, 1952 World Series. Okay. Sure. Uh, Eddie Tobinsey, I don't remember you. Will Cordero, sure. John Flaherty, sure. Um, Mark Grace with the D backs. And Mark Gardner. Mark Grace, one of the kind of one of my favorite players really, if I kinda uh, non twins. I do remember him. Sweet swing. Probably a little overrated too, but uh, just always kind of good career. Yeah, I always liked him. So, 51 doubles one year with the Cubs, 95 led the league. So, pretty good. Yeah, nice, nice career. Okay, well, I mean, we're halfway done, is all. Oh my god, what the heck? It's been 38 minutes. I don't have to do this is going to be a part one and a part two here this is just taking forever so uh thank you very much i'm going to call this one part one and uh call it a night because i'm tired and this is going to take forever to get through but i'm just going to leave it just like that and uh part two will be the other half so thank you very much have a good night